Okay, no joke to kick this one off. I need a volunteer to feel the burn. No, I don't mean a session with my personal trainer, but the cauterizing that we use to remove horn buds in our young calves. We all strive to take the best care of our animals, which includes reducing any negative impacts of our interventions. Farmers want their calves disputed using best practice, and it's the vet's responsibility to deliver this. So Janelle, what changes are coming up? Well from October 2019 we're going to be required to be using local anaesthetic before disputting calves. So we know local anaesthetic provides a really great pain relief when we give it around the horn bud or in the corneal nerve. However, that only lasts about 20 to 30 minutes. So our recommendation is always to use a long-acting um, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory such as Meloxivir because it gives them that sort of added coverage once that local wears off to help them recover from this procedure. And what about the other calf related issue and that scouring calf? Yeah, so I think with calf scours, non-steroidals play a really key role. We want these calves to be comfortable enough that they're going to keep drinking to keep that rehydration and or get rehydrated and keep the hydration status going. So in addition to our rehydration protocols, having a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug cover that pain is a really important part of that process. So you'd recommend an anti-inflammatory in every farmer's calf rearing kit? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a really key tool to help them recover faster. Like most things we've talked about, pain relief for the littlest members of the herd is pretty much common sense. It's quick, easy, and takes far less time than dealing with an issue that gets out of control. We all want these little ones to thrive. Watch all our videos by downloading the NZ Pharma Tips app for Apple or Android today.